I am so excited to share with you some of the favorite things that I've seen in your books this year. In fact, there's two times during the year when I really like to see what you're doing. One, when you're planning your books, and then two, the final product. And man, do I have some really great things to share with you. Let's take a look at one of my favorite books. You know, when I first looked at this book, and I grabbed this book off the shelf, looked at it, immediately I wanted to look at it a little bit more. Sometimes when I look at what a school did with a cover, and they've added a die cut, which is basically a hole in the cover, uh, it doesn't go with the theme. But if you look at this, take it all in, it does. And it actually opens up the book and it puts you right inside. I love this book. We left our mark and it left a mark on me. First of all, I love it because of its bright colors, the vibrant colors that are in this cover. But even more so, then when you actually touch this cover, you feel the matte lamination in it, as well as the debossing of the hand. You know, in this book, once again, I love the verbal versus the visual with the walk. But even more so, if you actually just rub your fingers over the cover, the shoe actually feels like a Converse tennis shoe. Let me show you something that's really super cool. Notice this cover, life coming at you. Uh, this school did absolutely a fantastic job on carrying their theme out. It's actually a 3D cover. I wish you could see what I can see. But even more so, what's really neat about this book is that you don't even need the 3D glasses to get that feeling. And if you really look at it, the letters are actually embossed on the cover, and so therefore they are popping at you. They're actually coming at you. Notice the shape of the, the laser cut on this cover. And as you run your finger through it, you actually get the feel of what they're trying to do. Even more so, notice it is actually the claws that are actually going through here that gives you the opening of later of the school's mascot. And it is a completely different approach to, for those of you who have to put the mascot on the cover. But there's another book I've got to show you to you that really surprised me, and that's this book. Not only did they do a laser cut, but they decided to do it on their end sheet. And so they took their mascot, once again a school that must use their mascot, and they put it on the end sheet, but behind it they put these vibrant colors, and when you put the laser cut on top of it, it gives the full effect of the Indian headdress. This book grabbed my attention for not just the front of the book, but the back of the book as well. In fact, when you look at the back of the cover, you'll notice that the claws here are actually debossed into the cover. They actually go into the cover. But then, to create the excitement of the book, when you look at the front, you notice not only the mascot, but the eyes of the mascot. Just watch how the eyes shine as I tilt the book. Here's another book I really like. It's a Trapper Keeper book. Now, first of all, this might be a book that you wouldn't do every year, but if it's a special anniversary year, what a great way to remember that year. Notice how the front flap, it opens up. You still open the cover, and then you have the end sheets. This is another great way of how the theme and the graphics work together. Uh, notice the cover. First of all, it's a glossy type cover, glossy lamination, but then the theme is stand out. And once again, when you, you really just get excited about the book once you touch it because the letters are actually raised again. They stand out. They are embossed. I want you to look at these two books. This is what we call a quarter bound book. If you look at the book, you'll notice that roughly three-fourths of the material or the book is of one material and the other fourth is something else. In this case, you've got three-fourths of the book. If you look at it, you'll notice that it's just basically a leather type cover, but then the other is actually the plexiglass. In this particular book, the theme is full disclosure. And even though it's full disclosure, you'll notice that it is kind of a more conservative look. But then if I pull this book off the shelf and look at this one, it's the same thing. It's actually a quarter bound book too. Their theme is too legit. Notice how it's etched on the plexiglass. Notice two things on this cover. One, notice on one part of the quarter bound, notice the words, notice the silt screening of the letters. And then even more so on the plexiglass, notice the theme too legit comes out. It's just more in your face. It's more edgy. It's more out there. 
Another school decided to use the mascot on its cover, and once again, it caught my eye. What I love about this one is that, first of all, we began once again with a matte lamination. But on top of that lamination, we actually took the mascot and we actually popped it up. We actually raised the mascot. And the way we did this was through what we call a sculptured die. And you can actually rub your fingers across this cover and you can feel the ridges on the ram's horns. There are books, and then there are really big books that grab my attention. And I've got to share with you one of my favorite books. A Clean Slate. Absolutely a clean slate. I love a book that has not just a gimmick for gimmick's sake, but something that works with the theme. And when I looked at this book, it just absolutely excited me. So the theme is a clean slate. So if that's the verbal, what did they do visually? And if you look at it, who would ever thought about adding a slate to a cover? And that's exactly what this school did by adding the slate. Even more so, they gave them a box of chalk to go along with their cover. What a big idea. Hopefully I've captured your imagination and now it's your time to think big. You know, as yearbook people, we do not copy, but we adapt. Hopefully you've looked at things like matte lamination, embossing, laser cut end sheets, laser cut covers. Now it's your time. I can't wait to see what you come up with this year so we can look at really the big things that you've created.